From the Ripkins to the Griffies and most recently the Guerreros, there have been many great father-son duos on the diamond. And while kinship on the field is rare, there are thousands more fathers and children who bond over the pastime in the stands. Here's CTV's Brent Lael with the first in a two-part series on baseball and the memories this game has created for him and his son. Baseball. It's a pastime shared by fathers and kids for generations. Just getting set to leave for our ninth annual father-son baseball road trip. For the past decade, my son and I have driven around the U.S. watching baseball. Here we are, another Major League Baseball stadium, this time in Cincinnati at Great American Ballpark. From having a catch at the Field of Dreams movie site to watching games and collecting stamps from more than half of the Major League stadiums. After this summer's trip, we're at 17 stadiums. What do you want to do next? Uh, hopefully we can head down to New York uh, and get the uh, Mets and Yankees in there, and then that would make us 19. Hopefully we can get in the rest in a few years from now, start flying out and finish them up. The reason my son and I became ballpark travelers is because of former Blue Jays broadcaster Jerry Howarth. In 2011, we decided instead of coming here to Toronto, we'd go meet up with Jerry on the road in Cleveland. Well, actually, one of the nicest uh, things I was able to do in my career is take tickets and give them to fathers and sons to go out to a game. Those are the two best tickets, unless it was mother-daughter, mother-son, father-daughter. Uh, I love to see families enjoy games like that. But father, sons, you and Jackson to go around it. That was gave me pause to say, look at those two. Look how much fun they're having. And that's a, a dad showing his love for his son and his son reciprocating, saying, Dad, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate all the people that I met. Jerry has seen so many father-son combos on the field over the years. Kevin Biggio idolized his dad, Craig, growing up. Now he's following in the footsteps of his Hall of Fame father, by making it to the majors. Our bond as, uh, as, as my dad, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I've always wanted to do what he did in, in his career. So, uh, I mean, that's what my uh, motivation was early on in my life. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be here without him. Jay's outfielder, Randall Gritchick's dad, instilled a passion for the game in him at a young age. It started taking me to the baseball field to practice as, as young as I can remember. And, um, you know, it's just one of those special things that, um, you know, we'll have the bond of uh, the love of the game together forever. Uh, it's something special to me and you know I know it's something special to him. Gritchick has memories of his father taking him to so many games in Houston. He describes why this sport, unlike others, creates that special bond. Uh, I think there's a little bit of everything. I think um, it's learning the game from him. I think they, that the father obviously is teaching you and, and um, you know he loves it so I think that's what makes you love it more. My love of the game started young, which included memories of trips to Exhibition Stadium and Tiger Stadium with my father. Uh, what have you enjoyed the most? Well, I've loved spending time with you and traveling is obviously one of the better uh, parts about this. And uh, seeing the different places in the U.S., such as Philadelphia and Washington with so much U.S. history there, it's cool to see all the monuments and stuff they have there. And the unique... Uh, ballparks as well. They're all, everyone's different from each other. For many parents, including me, this sport has shaped our relationship with our kids. Putting thousands of kilometers on the car with my son by my side has been truly the most enjoyable part of this adventure. This game has created memories that will last a lifetime. Brent Lale, CTV News. Baseball and stamp collecting have been popular pastimes for nearly 200 years. But until recently, the two didn't really have that much in common. However, an Ohio man had the idea to combine his love of collecting with his favorite sport. CTV's Brent Lale reports in part two of his series on America's pastime and the bonds it creates between family and friends. For diehard baseball fans, visiting every major league stadium is a bucket list challenge. I want to accomplish all 30, all 30 stadiums, and I'm six away. John, Sam, and Diane are ballpark travelers from southwestern Ontario, and also stamp collectors. We go town to town for all the ballparks. We get all the stamps we can on each stadium, um, meet the people, have the food do the whole experience. On this particular trip, the three have traveled here to Cincinnati, Ohio for the annual Ballpark Stampeders reunion. The Stampeders are a group who all have the Major League Baseball passport. The book was created by Cincinnati Reds fan and Ohio native Tim Parks. Growing up with the Big Red Machine, uh, 
the games, going to my family, my dad, you know, you know my mom, friends. Uh, there was nothing out there to record all the memories. It was during a trip to Alaska a decade ago when he realized there was nothing like it on the market. I just started thinking about all the times that I went, and I said, you know, I don't have anything to remember anything by. I don't have a ticket stub. I don't have a journal. I don't have anything. Just things that I'm forgetting every year, it seems like. That's where the passport stamp kind of came into play. Each summer, Parks welcomes over 100 like-minded collectors to the ballpark nearest his hometown. And the Facebook group now has over 3,300 members, from those who've completed all 30 stadiums to others who are just getting started, like Londoner Diane Silvera. It's a little bit of everything, collecting the stamps, having the book like filled with all the memories and just writing it down and looking back at it. Like the other day I was looking at a game that we went to last year and totally forgot about some of the things that happened there. So that was really nice to look back on. Um, and then just experiencing the different cities. Uh, they, this trip, we got to go on a riverboat tour in Cincinnati, which was really cool. Uh, baseball is like my favorite sport, and I like it's not just the game; it's about just the city, the food, uh, drinks, meeting people, talking to people. Uh, just baseball brings everyone together. It's definitely a bucket list thing. I always wanted to do it, and John's adventures really made me jealous. And I was he I was lucky; he was gracious enough to do it again with me. I like Pittsburgh the very best, but uh, Boston and Chicago, the oldest, are definitely excellent. The next 15, I'm a realist. It's going to take a while. Maybe I'm an old man by the time it's done, but um, I don't mind the journey. Parks, a season ticket holder for the Reds, says seeing the popularity of his book is like living a dream. It's just a great feeling to know that um, you know, you're bringing families together. It's something that they can do their whole life, even as you know, generation after generation. You know, it, it doesn't stop. Brent Lale, CTV News.